Welcome to Ainho Park. I have never come across a room as nuts as this. This is the library in Inho Park and it is utterly bonkers. This place is the brainchild of James Perkins and my God, what a brain this man has. It's insane! Where else would you see a cheetah wearing a captain's hat and spectacles? So, you follow me out of the library and into the ante room, which features a quite frankly ridiculous whispering gallery. A little bit like Grand Central in New York. I can hear everything the other person says on the other side of the room, except there is no one on the other side of the room to whisper to, which is very lonely. I'm going to have a look at the master suite in Ainho Park and I'm promised it's spectacular. Seriously, seriously nice bedroom goals here. You've got a four poster bed, but also these incredible views over the West Terrace and that amazing barbecue bar down there next to the hot tub. The greatest iPhone speaker in history. I mean, you simply put your phone here and you get this enormous great big gramophone pumping your favorite tunes out as you get ready for dinner, or the hot tub, or a barbecue. And then once you're done stressing about the worries of life and where you're going to take your Audi A7 next, you can come in here to the copper freestanding bath and look out over herds of beautiful white deer. So you've seen the house and I think you'll agree that it's pretty bonkers, but I'm now about to drive one of the most exciting cars of the year, the new Audi A7. Just left Ainho Park and I'm now in the cockpit of the Audi A7. First thing to note is it feels extremely light. The new design chief for Audi is a gentleman called Mark Lichter. Uh, I'm sure I pronounced that right. And he is responsible for the original Prologue concept car to which the A7 takes a lot of its lines. Mark Lichter designed the new A8, that was his first project, and he's now moved on to A7 and A6, which launched recently at Geneva. All of them are very, very impressive, and they've got this really distinctive line philosophy. So the whole design and makeup of this car feels like a business jet for the road. It does have rear wheel steering, uh, which is very cool. So at low speeds, the rear wheels turn in the opposite direction to the front wheels to give you an extra one meters worth of loft, which is impressive for urban areas. And out on the open road, the wheels turn in the same direction to give you added stability as you ham around pressing on into those corners. That is quite impressive. The new A7 is an exceptional place in which to spend time. The interior is out of this world. You've got these huge touch screens which operate exactly the same way as an iPhone would. So you can pinch and zoom, you've got Google Maps, and you get these really nice haptic noises and feedback. One thing that I've noticed this car does that I really like is the noise it makes on startup. Very noticeable. It's like having your own symphony orchestra here with you. The whole layout of this is perfect. Everything's in the right place. The piano black and the chrome are knurled to perfection. It really is like sitting inside a private jet. Very, very impressive.
genuinely impressed with the A7. It's everything I would want, a big four-door coupe to be. So I'm off to find some more twisty roads. Thanks again to Audi UK and see you soon.